Today, I wanna to talk about one of the hottest shoe trends right now, which are sneakers. And I absolutely love sneakers. I think you can put them with a lot of different things than you think you can put them with. And they are a super huge trend right now. And I already did a shoe trends video and I did not put sneakers in there because I wanted to dedicate a video to them because there are some really neat styles that I wouldn't have had time to fit into that video. So I hope you enjoy this. If you love casual outfits or wearing different things like dresses or trousers, with your sneakers, then you're going to love a lot of these styles. So if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing and love your neighbor, be kind, and we will go ahead and get started. One of the biggest trends in sneakers right now is retro sneakers, and you will see a lot of different versions of retro sneakers. And when I started to do my research for this video, I thought to myself, what exactly is a retro sneaker? And there are a couple of different meanings because the original manufacturer of that retro sneaker, which is an old sneaker, may have updated it, you know, given it a little bit more of better technology because we have better technology in our manufacturing now, better cushioning, things like that. So it's an updated version of a sneaker that has already been made. And you also have sneakers that are called retro sneakers that are just now being created by someone that didn't create shoes back then. It's a new version, but it's a retro look. So that's more of a retro looking sneaker. But either way, these styles are very, very on trend right now. And they are styles that you can wear with a lot of different things. And a lot of these shoes were created for different sports activities. And now they are just being worn as lifestyle sneakers and they got really popular because of the look of them and the ease of wear. One of the ones that comes to my mind that is the most popular and has been for a while are your Converse All-Stars. I remember wearing these in pink and black when I was younger. And I see a lot of different age groups wearing these and you can wear them with a ton of different things, whether you wanna be casual in jeans with them or if you wanna throw a cute little dress on with them, I've seen it all. And so you also have some other versions. There are some versions by Puma that have been really popular. They have one called the Suede. And then you also have Adidas versions, which there's the, I think, Gazelle. And then you also have a sneaker that I'm going to talk about in just a minute that's one of the most popular. But there are all kinds of varieties of these sneakers that you can find out there. Most of them are low top, but some might be a high top, which I'll also talk about in a little bit. And one of the best parts about retro sneakers is they have a really timeless design about them. And because they do, you can wear them with lots of different things. So one of the most popular retro sneakers is the Adidas Samba, which is a soccer sneaker. So even if you don't like the Adidas Samba, and this is the one I was referring to when I said I would talk about it in a minute, because they have the Adidas Gazelle, which is very similar to it. But the Samba got really popular last year. It actually sold out everywhere. It was really hard to get. A lot of the celebrities were wearing it, but you can find it this year. I've seen some at Nordstrom, at Zappos, at I think Shop Bop, and I mean, just about any shoe store online, you can find it. And I think DSW even had it. So I think this would be a great option to replace just a plain white sneaker because you can find one that is white or maybe a beige that has white stripes on it. But the signature of this sneaker is it's got a really low profile. It's made out of suede, which I think is so beautiful on a sneaker. It has the three stripes and then it has this gum sole. So the sole looks very unique on these sneakers. And I just think it's fun. I do think that this is a great timeless style that you will end up wearing for a very long time. One sneaker trend that I think is on the rise right now are your high top sneakers and in particular your 80s high top sneakers. And when I think of 80s high top sneakers, Nike comes to my mind, but there are a lot of other brands that are making a high top sneaker right now. And this is also another retro sneaker. I think it has a retro look. A lot of them come in really fun colorways, although you can also find some in more neutral colors. But this is a little bit harder to style. If you're not used to wearing sneakers, this might be something that wouldn't be like an entry level sneaker for someone that didn't wear them. But for someone that loves sneakers and you want to add something, definitely snatch something up this season because you will have a lot of options in the high tops. The next trend I think is very interesting and it's exposed tread. So what it is, is you take the sole of the shoe and you bring it more up on the sides of the sneaker and you can just see the cool tread. And a lot of times they're done with different colors and lots of different textures and I just think this is a lot of fun and I don't know if you remember the New Balance 327 which is still out this year but I think it came out last year with this exposed tread and everybody was loving it. I actually ordered a pair and they didn't work for me so I have my eye on a Steve Madden pair this year 
which just came out with a green tread sole and then green on the side. But you can find these in neutral colors or bright colors, whatever you want, you have choices. And I do think it makes them a lot of fun, but it also makes them super casual in my mind. So you would want to stick with more casual outfits. So if you are more of an outdoorsy type person, you probably know this style. Otherwise, you probably have never heard of it. Like I have never heard of this. It's called Gorp Core. And I will read this to you what it means because I was like, what is that? And it's named after the colloquial term for trail mix, which is good old raisins and peanuts and is a style focused around wearing utilitarian, functional, outdoors inspired gear. And this is rooted in hiking and camping. So you can only imagine when you're doing things like this, you really need pretty heavy soles and a lot of coverage. And so when you see these sneakers, they are a little crazy looking, but I think they're very interesting. I would love to have a pair to wear with a lot of my more athletic stuff or my or more outdoorsy stuff. If I'm wearing a puffer vest and jeans or cargo pants or something like that, I do think they would be a great match for those. But there's a lot of people that are wearing these with skirts and throwing these on with a pair of socks and going. And you know what, if you are a super trendy person, that would be a great look for you so I thought it was cute on them for me personally I'd probably just stick with my outdoorsy looking things and just create an outfit around that so really these styles are defined by textured details on the upper and then really thick soles so they're very interesting I would love to know if you like these or not if you would ever wear these because I'm not sure how long this trend is going to last. I don't even know how long this trend has been going. This is the first I have seen it. And I did like what I saw. I think they're very unique, but this definitely is not an entry level sneaker. It's more of your, you know, you got to have the look and the things that you want to wear with this to actually wear this sneaker. This next trend is one of my personal favorites, which is designer sneakers or designer inspired sneakers. I have one of each. So I really love Golden Goose sneakers and they have become very popular in the past several years and you just either love them or you don't. A lot of people don't love the sole of them because they're kind of dirty. They have more of a vintage look to them. And I actually try to choose the ones that have less of that. And I have three pair. I love them. I wear them in my videos and I do highly recommend them because they are Italian made and those are the best shoes on the planet. I, I cannot tell you how comfortable they are and they are worth the price per wear for me because I wear them all the time. There are a lot of designer inspired options Options of Golden Goose sneakers that you can find now. There's a brand called Vintage Havana that looks very similar. In my opinion, they're not as comfortable. I do have a pair that's a high top pair, but people on my channel have said they really love those. Another designer sneaker that is very popular that I don't own, but I do own the designer inspired version is the Chloe sneaker. And I have the Dolce Vita version, which is very similar to it. It probably is not as comfortable, although it's pretty comfortable, um, but I've never tried the Chloe sneaker. I do love the look of these. They're very interesting. They are knitted in different colors on top and they have this really cool rippled thick sole and I just think they're interesting and I think they are a great style that you can add to your wardrobe and just create some interesting looks with them. There is also a Target version of this shoe that is really great and even less expensive and I showed this shoe last season and it was totally out of stock but I think it's back this fall so I will link it if you're interested in a look like this because I do think they're fun and the Target version might be good for you if you know you won't be able to wear it with a lot of things but I do think these are a fun version to have. So this trend is not an actual sneaker but how to style your sneakers maybe and it's to wear socks with them. Socks are becoming very popular and I'm not talking about the no-show socks. I'm talking about the ankle high or even mid calf high socks. And I think this is a cute look. It's growing on me. It looks really sporty. I love it when I see this with leggings. So you put the sock over the legging and then you put the sporty sneaker on. You can also wear this with dresses or skirts when you're wearing your sneakers. And this is growing in popularity. I think we're going to be able to find a lot more socks available because I have gone to look for socks to wear and it's actually kind of a headache trying to find something that I like. So hopefully this season I can add some socks and maybe even style a video with different shoes and sock outfits for you guys if you want that 
let me know in the comments below because I do think it's a fun and cute casual look. So if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in trends. So you should definitely check out a lot of the other videos I've already posted for the fall and winter season on my channel about trends and not just shoe trends. There's all kinds of other trends going on that are really great. So thank you so much for watching. I would love to know in the comments below if you have a trend in this video that you love and you're planning on trying or maybe something that you've already worn. Um, I definitely love for you guys to share those things with me. So thank you so much for watching. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing and love your neighbor. Be kind and I'll talk to you next time.